Hey everybody. Um, you know, I always like to share with you when the Lord's given me a new song. But this is extra special, I think, and I just wanted to make this video blog and share this with you. Um, Sunday, I kind of had a line run through my head with a, a melody and uh, I said, well, you know, I'm going to stop and spend some time with the Lord and see if I can't maybe write this song. So I spent some time with it and nothing really came or whatever. So I said, well, I said, anyway, I worked on it a while and nothing really came. So I put it aside. But, um, yesterday was just such a special day for me with the Lord. I mean, I sometimes get so caught up in, you know, him being God, you know, and knowing he's my friend, but, you know, so caught up in him being God that, uh, you know, I... I tend to forget and enjoy, you know, him being my friend. You know, I like to uh, have scripture references for my songs that the Lord gives me. I said, well, Lord, I'm just going to open up the word and wherever it is it lands, that's where I'll read from. So I opened it up and my very first, um, my eyes landed right here on 1, 3, 4. But in my mind I was like, nah, you know, that's, I'm just going to start over here, you know, because... Surely, you know, the message can't be right there where, you know, just like that. I said, well, I'm going to start over here. So I started right here in 127 Psalms, and it said, Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. So I decided to go to the one that my eyes first fell on, and uh, Psalms 134, verse 3 says, May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. Like, hmm. It says right there, maker of heaven and earth. That's the very first words, the very first line in my song, Lord, maker of heaven and earth. So that just kind of, you know, when the, the word of the Lord is a living word, and when something like that happens, and you can s feel it and see it, it's like, oh man, you know, that is so cool. Morning, so okay. online. And Tracy, my blog friend, had sent me a little daily devotional thing that she sends and uh, the very first scripture that was there was Psalm 127 so it's like the Lord counteracted and come back and said okay Psalm 127 1 you know unless the Lord is the builder the builders build in vain so I was like oh man that is so wild so I kept reading down through there and his name is above all other names, and uh, every knee will bow. And that 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 was Philippians two nine through eleven, and so I was like, oh man, that's also lyrics in my song, where it says, um, Jesus, you alone are worthy, and I humbly bow down at your feet. Oh, um, there was this other friend, I think it was Kingdom. Anyway. Seeker. I went and read her blog today, and there was she made mention of this Louis Giglio. So I found on MySpace this video um, where he, it, oh, please, I'm going to post it right below here. Please, it's 45 minutes. If you can spare 45 minutes at some point in time and soon, Please take that 45 minutes to watch this. You know, especially if you really like, you know, stars and planets and just going out at night and looking up at the stars. I remember Crystal saying she enjoyed going out and looking up at the stars. And I just want to encourage you, please, please watch this, this video. This was so awesome. And this message is, it is so, so wonderful. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I want to share it with everybody. <laughs> But it all ties in with how great God is. And even though He's that great, and it's easy to get ourselves caught up in the rules and regulations and um, organized religion and this and that, that all takes our eyes off of what it's really about. And what it's really about is Jesus and having a relationship with Jesus and knowing that no matter he even he's this great big awesome God he's my friend 
and that thought really finally sunk into my brain yesterday. He's my friend. <laughs> I mean, duh. But no, I mean, I have just really been enjoying um, being in his presence and reading his word and learning. And he blessed me with the song. And I just wanted to, in turn, uh, get it posted and um, let you know I love you and I thank God for you. And every time, you know, I spend time with the Lord like this, uh, you know, I always make mention of you. So keep me in your prayers. I hope you enjoyed all this. And... because of how it came about and uh, it came about because of the time that I spent seeking him and worshiping him and his Holy Spirit just loving on me and that's what it's all about and that's what I encourage you to do is to seek Jesus and to accept this wonderful free gift of his friendship and forgiveness and love and mercy and grace and Anyway, keep on keeping on. Bye-bye.